So we really like um, the Electronet fencing, the portable fencing, because it's very flexible and you can, we literally graze in between the rows of our trees, so we'll just wrap that uh, netting in between two rows of trees and, and as long as it's hot, the animals aren't interested in browse. If you're, if you're in a case where you have like permanent fencing on a, in a border and you want to put trees in your pasture, then in most cases tree tubes, uh, but they need to be well staked. A lot of the bigger animals, especially the ruminants, like to itch and scratch and so they will knock them over. <laughs> um, but the tree tubes can often work um, as, as the trees are young. And really once you get them, you know, a half inch in diameter or more, they often can withstand browsing. So it kind of depends on, on the animal. So cows, cows, the biggest thing is they might mow over a tree. Uh, sheep and goats might actually eat the tree. And so there's, you know, some considerations there with the age and, and the factors there. These are thornless honey locusts that we planted as just an experiment and we're protecting them with a tree tube or tree shelter to keep the mice and rabbits away from the young hardwood trees. But then if we only put the tree shelter around, the cattle would use this as their scratching post. So we've also used old kennel wire and bent some of the verticals out to create barbs so that the cattle won't rub on the tree tubes.